Good morning, everyone. Um, uh, last two, upon last Bible study, uh, we umanasa kanyang flood of Noah. So Angi Noo, oh, judge the people, judge the man, judge the world because of he cannot bear our sin. Grabe kayo pa. So. Can make the clean the, this world by his judgment. So only among them, um, God's judgment, God never forget uh, lo his love toward the, his creatures. So God saved Noah and his family, and he prepared the ark, and then. With the Noah, all kinds of creatures uh, saved in the kind of right on the uh, ark. So God now, um, have na one year, maybe uh, did the clean the this all uh, universe, this this earth clean, uh, did one year. Have been now one year, over one year, little over one year, and God, uh, Ella come out from the uh, ark of Noah. Mm. So, uh, when Noah came out, this earth be cleansed, which meaning, which meaning all uh, creatures in the Anki Noah mentioned, all creatures, all. Uh, by hanging, lived, all they are died. And then, all their bodies, uh, decayed during the, kind of under the water. And, uh, Noah, and all, um, kinds of animal out from the ark. Uh, Kikansa chapter 8, verse 20, uh, mentioned it. When Noah came out, from the, uh, came out the, uh, ark, she had first young action, worship the Lord. Because he remember, uh, how God provide and protect, uh, she and then, uh, among the all, uh, creatures during live in ark and she Thanks to the Lord by worship. And then, um, 20, 21, chapter 8, verse 21 mention, Anginu o, uh, promise, iyang kau galingun, any more, like judgment, by the water. Because, Anginu o, accept our sinful nature. So that's why uh, God uh, any more judgment by the water and you know, promise yang kau balingun upon because of our sinful nature this world is become the kind of seeding time, seed time, harvest, cold and heat about like that or season and season is a uh, what is a circled so bar? Mm, invention, day and night will never cease. It is the kind of uh, circle the all uh, our life. It is like that. Angino you know, mention. Uh, today, mm, today, uh, chapter nine we begin. What is it? So what is it? this chapter nine? Is a uh, Important, uh, kind of message is in the chapter line. It's the Noahic covenant is mentioned in the bar. Mm. So, uh, we, before the chapter nine, we begin the study. Uh, we hear the, uh, word of God passage. Uh, just we listen and we just we read, uh, and we will uh, begin the study the chapter line.
Gipanalanginan sa Diyos si Noe o gaiyang mga anak o giingnan. Panganak ka mo aron ang inyong mga liwat musanay sa kalibutan. Mga hadlo kaninyo ang tanang mananap, lakip ang mga langgam, ang gagmay mga mananap o ang mga isda. Gitugyan sila ubos sa inyong pagbuot. Makakaon ka mo sa tanang mananap o sa lunhaong mga tanom, kay gitugyan ko kining tanan kaninyo aron mahimong pagkaon ninyo. Usa lamang kabutang ang kinahanglan dili ninyo kanon o kini mao ang karni nga may dugo pa kay ang kinabuhi anaaman sa dugo. Kun usa ka tao, mupatay og tao, silutan siya. Silutan pinaagi sa kamatayon ang mananap o tao nga mupatay og tao. Ang mupatay og tao pat yun usab sa iyang isig katao, kay gibuhat man ang tao sama sa Dios. Panganak ka mo aron mudaghan ka mo ug mulukop sa tibuok kalibutan. Inyo ang Dios miingon kang Noe og iyang mga anak. Himuon ko na karon ang akong kasabutan tali kaninyo og kanako og sa inyong mga kaliwat. Ingon man sa tanang binuhat, nga buhi uban kaninyo, ang mga langgam, mga kahayupan, o mga ihalas nga mga mananap, tanan gayod nga nang gawas sa arka. Himuon ko ang akong kasabutan tali kaninyo o kanako, isaad ko nga dili na gayod puuhon pinaagi sa lunop ang tanang binuhat nga buhi. Dili na gayod laglagon ang kalibutan pinaagi sa lunop. Ug ang Dios miingon, agig timaan sa walay katapusang kasabutan nga akong gihimo tali kanako ug kaninyo ingon man sa tanang buhing mananap. Palutawon ko ang akong bangaw diha sa kapanganuran, timaan kini sa kasabutan tali kanako ug sa kalibutan. Kun tigumon ko na gani ang mga pangano diha sa langit ug makita diha niini ang bangaw. Hinumduman ko ang akong gisaad kaninyo ug sa tanang mananap nga dili ko nagayod laglagon pinaagig lunop ang tanang binuhat. Sa dihang makita na ang bangaw diha sa mga panganod, tanaon ko kini ug hinumduman ko ang walay katapusang kasabutan, tali kanako ug sa tanang binuhat nga anaa sa kalibutan. Ang Dios miingon kang Noe, Mao kini ang ilhanan na saad nga akong gihimo sa tanang binuhat nga buhi dinhi sa kalibutan. Amen. Thank you, Vivian. Here, chapter 9 mention God blessed Noah and his sons. God blessed Noah and his sons. What kinds of blessing ang ginoo kihatak sa Noah and his children? It is, we remember, Genesis chapter 1, 26. Uh, be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. It is in the chapter 1, ang ginoo created the man and woman. Ang ginoo like this uh, uh, blessing is also, here is, uh, God bless it. So this is, this is our creator, our creator given to us. It's blessing. God created uh, all the universe and it is his blessing, be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. So it is not Yes, the, yes, this is the one sentence, but it is not the meaning of the, uh, not only the literal, of course it is the blessing by the literal, and also, but it is only the not bonus number, it's also, anginuo, we exercise the careful, the, this earth and other, other creatures, and also, make the atom um, authority uh, as the superior uh, creatures, we have to be take care of other creatures and uh, we should be 
during the in our life, during the take care, and then kanang maayong relationship with the others, and we, uh, sigurado, during that our life, we worship God, and we glorify our God. It is the meaning is uh, be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. So uh, earth, earth, anginuo, uh, given to the human and creature, uh, creatures, and then we have to be live in this earth. Para maayong kinabuhi ka na to, we have to be well take care this earth. Not by the, uh, not only by the atong selfishness, we should be this earth take care, samasa uh, take care with the other creatures, be kind of a happy life, we have to be well take care the earth, take care of the, even the animals, and take care of the good uh, trees, making the uh, kind of, it is all, um, it is, uh, we move our through God's blessing. Even uh, here is that the verse one, like then mentioned. And this special, and now with uh, some special passage, is Kikansa verse two, uh, to verse six. Uh, it is uh, on the chapter nine, verse one to uh, seven, is one passage. Yeah, one passage. And verse one, be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. And verse seven, verse seven, also, uh, as for you, be fruitful and increase in number, multiply on the earth and increase upon it. So verse one and verse seven is the same as the blessing is here mentioned it. And then verse 2, oh, he can say verse 2, and verse 6, is some uh, uh, kind of, kind of new passage. We, uh, by Basasa, uh, Dilipa in the chapter 1, during the creation, here is a uh, kind of, we, Basa, new, uh, uh, what is a kind of the uh, passage is here, is there. But here, uh, I could summarize, uh, in the verse 2 mention, the fear and dread of you will fall upon all the beasts of the earth, and all the birds of the air upon every creature that moves along the ground, and upon all the fish of the sea. They are given into your hands, Everything that lives and moves will be food, will be food for you. Just as I gave you the green plants, I now give you everything. Time of creation in chapter one, God given to us fruit and given to us a fruit and seed grain bar. It is the angin who allow to eat. There is not allow to eat the kind of animal. Mm. But in the now, after, after Noah's flood, angin who allow to eat other meat, other flesh. It is the some kind of some story. Why Anginuo allow? In the first time, in the time of creation, God given to us our food, your plant, kind of vegetable, and some grains. It is Anginuo given to us the, as the food. But why Anginuo now given to the uh, beast, all the beasts, all the birds, or every creature then move along the ground and upon all the fish Anginuo given to us? Yes, 
Yes. If uh, we remember Ada, Abel, Abel and Cain, Cain and Abel, Cain was cursed from the ground, so he became the wanderer. Did you remember? After the Cain killed the Abel, Cain kicked out Adubang and Sedios, he became the wanderer. Because, because the lot, the earth, cannot, did not give in to him the produce, so he is only the wanderer of the earth. So, this Cain cannot live. He is very difficult to find the food. So, he begins the um, hunter, hunting the animals to eat. And then what happened? If she eat the, eat the meat, animal, yeah, hunting, and then eat the meat, very easy. You know that the farming, if the witanum, how many months? How many months we waiting? Take care about she grew up and then until produce to eat, we remember some need some months. And vegetable and fruit and grains and meat, which one is lami? So, Kain's family, they have really developed the skill to hunt for their food. After that, it is, it is influenced uh, Seth's family, which is Anginuo, Kihataksa, Seth, to Adam uh, instead of Abel. About like that in the Bible mentioned, Seth's family also, they are influenced to eat the animal, which is hunting. And because of that food, they are, have all kinds of wa, because of kulang sakaun, they are wa. Hmm? About like that, they develop the skill to kill each other. They develop the skill to hunting the animal, to kill the uh, kinds of uh, other people. About like that, and Anginuo realize human being cannot stop to eat the, this uh, animal flesh. So, Anginuo Dipa happy. God's originally, God's mind not want to eat the creatures each other. Oh, to kill each other and to eat, but Anginuo, not uh, want, but meaning sa reluctantly, Anginuo allow to eat the flesh, to eat the uh, animals uh, meat, God allow. We have also one, one thing, um, one thing. God not want, but God allowed. We hear the Bible passage in Matthew. Um, in Matthew, uh, Vivian will pass again the book of Matthew. What is happening? We will listen to the first passage. And I will give you the some uh, more uh, explain pa. Listen. Ug nahitabo sa pagkatapos ni Jesus ni ini mga pulong, mibalhin siya gikan sa Galilee, ug miadto sa utlanan sa Judea, tabok sa Jordan. Ug misunod kaniya ang dagkong panun sa katawhan ug giayo sila didto. Unya ang mga paraseyo, miduol kaniya nga nagtintal nga nagaingon. 
Tukma ba sa balaod sa pagbulag sa iyang asawa sa bisan unsa nga hinungdan? Busa siya mitubag og miingon. Wala ba ka mo makahibalo nga ang nagbuhat kanila sa sinugdan, naghimo kanila nga lalaki o babay? Og siya miingon. Tungod ni ini, ang tao mubiya sa iyang amahan o ginahan, o magpabilin nga suod sa iyang asawa, o silang duha mahimong usa kalawas. Busa dili na sila duha kung dili usa na kalawas. Busa ang gihiusa sa Diyos, dili angay nga bulagon sa tao. Apan miingon sila kaniya. Nga naman nga si Moises, nagtugot man sa paghatag o sulat sa pagbulag o sa paghingilin. Miingon siya kanila, si Moises, tungod sa iyang kagahi, mitugot siya kaninyo sa paghingilin sa inyong mga asawa apan gikan sa sinugdanan, dili kini ang nahitabo. Amen. Year, people mangutana, si Yes Cristo. We want divorce. Hmm. People want to divorce. Why people want to divorce? It is uh, one of the exercises uh, broken the promise, broken the vow. Our God is never broken young promise to told us by, which is uh, Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 sending the our Messiah. So, he can say, uh, after the Genesis chapter 3, 15, Hang to, coming of Jesus Christ, Ang ginoo, work very hard to send our Messiah. But, but our God is like that faithful, but we human being cannot be faithful because of our selfishness. Any reason, any reason, they want divorce. Well, what did Jesus teach us? Originally, initially, divorce is not will of God. It's not will of God. Mm. But human selfishness, God allow divorce given to the people of our like that. So still, we are some exercise, divorce, but we everybody have a law. Divorce is not real will of God. Samakana, Anginu, not happy. Originally, it is not the will of God, but people already many exercise, and then human being already have realized the uh, uh, taste uh, delicious uh, we already exercised like that the uh, eat the uh, meat or animals fleshy so God um, reluctantly allow to eat the other animal to kill animal Birds, fish, for it, for it, mm. to become your food. Yes, and then, Anginu given to us one prohibition. You can eat every kind of, oh, every kind of animal for the, your food, but one prohibition, what, what? But you must not eat meat that has its life blood still in it. Yes, this is, this is one prohibition, you eat. You can eat every meat, but one prohibition, what? To not eat the blood. To not eat the blood. Mm. Here is, uh, God 
given to us. Prohibition. So, and then, that only, not only the, our food, and continue, verse 5, and verse 6, what is mentioned? Do not, uh, bleeding other human being. Do not take in the human's life. And verse 6, very well mentioned, uh, why we cannot kill the human? Because they are created in the image of God. So, Angin Wo, uh, given to the warning to not uh, shed the 그냥, blood of the human, and Angin Wo will be revenge of them. Mm, about like that, verse uh, 5 and verse 6, like this mention. But nowadays, mm, we, some, especially the, in the, manga, some people, people eat the blood, good nutrition, good gut vitamins. But, uh, remember, also, uh, Anginuo in the prohibited to not eat the blood. Yes. So for the medicine, medica, uh, medicinally, you can eat, you drink, you eat the blood, but as possible as, um, do not enjoy, do not enjoy to eat the uh, blood, please. In Gikansa, uh, verse 8, Gikansa, verse 8 to uh, 17, here is the mention about the Noadic, uh, Noadic covenant. Um, here is very well mentioned. Ba. So, verse, verse 11, verse 11, um, I establish my covenant with you. Never again will all life be cut up by the waters of the flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. Anginuo exactly promise any more punishment, any more destroy the earth by the water, uh, by the water. And then Anginuo given to the sign. That is Hibalo, that is rainbow. So uh, if the covered clouds covered this earth, and that at the time will be from the uh, clouds show to the rainbow, Anginu, remember Yang promise to us, he will um, remember the, uh, his promise, so he uh, did not uh, by the flood this earth will not be, will not be destroyed. About like that, Anginu mentioned, and Verse 17 mentioned, this is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all life on the earth. Which meaning, which meaning, according to God's anger, according to God's rest, God Dilipa destroy Sakinin Kalibutan. Because Anginuo realize our sinful nature never corrected by the kinds of like this punishment. Even God destroyed the earth, covered by the, this earth by the water, upon never human being eradicated uh, our sinful nature, our selfishness, I, human being, be a, want to be a God, is never be stopped, never be kanang, kanang stopped, kanang like that exercise. So, Anginu, this promise, again, God will works 
to save us. It is its the meaning. Why? Because of the, why we cannot destroy us? By the water. Because only the water cannot become human being cleaned. So that's why God, uh, this Noahic promise, again, Angin Wo promise, God will work to save us. Not by the only destroy, not by the punishment us. It is cannot be uh, save us. It is cannot be truly cleanse us. So this promise, not destroy by the water this earth, that is meaning Anginuo uh, send the Messiah to save us. So meaning is God works to save us. This is this Noahic covenant is the meaning. So we remember the we remember the we also happy to watch the rainbow. First of all, it is very beautiful. The color is beautiful and like that uh, we happy. But remember, that is also God's promise, God's faithfulness, and also that is God's love. He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to save us. Not by the destroy us, God wants to cleanse His creatures. God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross, and God be cleansed in this all creatures, and God will be glorified by the, his work told us. Today, um, until the, this uh, verse 15, 17, um, Hangtosa remember the Noah the covenant, and here the Anginu mentioned everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. God remember what is everlasting covenant. God's, God's covenant is everlasting covenant because it is never uh, changed, it is never uh, stopped. It is everlasting covenant. And um, his people believe Jesus Christ and be saved uh, by the grace of God, by the work of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this time we just think about the Noah covenant. Through the, this covenant, we realize after that, uh, no more flood to destroy the earth because your covenant is everlasting and your covenant is a uh, covenant between God. Lord, this time, we thanks to you, Lord, and you still save us uh, by your grace and you also work for us we thanks to you. Lord, be glorified in our worship and Lord, be glorified in our life. We only worship you and we only rely on you, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank you, everyone.